Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away, and we're now going to be doing stage 27 of Hero Collectors, Build Your Own Ecto-1. <laughs> Okay, in this episode, we're going to be filming the engine bulkhead. Lots of fiddly things, but we do get to connect some of the pipes up that we haven't, uh, that have just been lying around in the engine bay uh, from parts before. So let me show you what we've got here. We've got the bulkhead here. We're going to be putting the blower unit on the bulkhead and putting that all into place. Then we're going to be putting the power brake reservoir on. We need this because one of the cables that we've got loose at the moment will be going into this, uh, onto the bulkhead. And then we're going to attach those cables. There's actually two cables that we're attaching here. But it looks like three because there's three pictures, but just two cables. Putting the bulkhead in place, ensuring that obviously the steering column's going through there. Uh, and then we're going to attach this in. So we're going to be attaching it with OM screws from the top there and then IP screws from each side. The last things we're going to do are the bulkhead struts. And they're going to be going on top of the wheel arches here or the, uh, um, the fender liners. Put into place like that. And that's all we have to do in this issue. So let's see how this goes. Without further ado, let's get cracking. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be attaching the blower unit. This is what the blower unit looks like here. Uh, and this is gonna be going just onto this section here, which will eventually go on the bulkhead. We're gonna be attaching it using this side of the blower unit. This is shaped a little bit like a keyhole, which is gonna match exactly the same pattern that we've got in there. So quite simply, this is just gonna sit in just like that. I'm gonna hold it in with my finger, and that's gonna be held in with an EP screw. Let's get that in. And there we go, that's into place, looking just like that. Now we're gonna actually put this onto the bulkhead. This is what the bulkhead looks like. This is plastic, as you can see here. Uh, this is gonna be going on, oh, let's get my side right. This side here, uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting the flat end here, just over the top. We have got a lug to locate this little pin in there. Just goes into that pin there, so that's gonna fit on just like that. And then we're gonna secure this in from the other side with an IP screw. I've got them here, Let's get them out. Put an IP screw into place. Just like so. And again, nice and tight. So on the bulkhead first off, looking like that. Put that to one side, because the next thing I'm gonna do is the power brake reservoir. Gonna need two tiny bits for that. We need this section here, silver. All of these are plastic, just so you know. And then we're gonna need the master cylinder for the power brake, looking just like that. And this is just gonna be going on top of this section here. Now, as you can see, we have got a little lug hole there to fit that lug. So it's gotta be easy to locate this on top, just like that. It's gonna fit there. But we're gonna be putting this in with an AP screw. And I know you all like me talking about the AP screws. We're always using them. This was the screw of choice for the DeLorean build. We'll get one of them out. And we'll put this in. And with these plastic parts, put this in. I always find starting the screw slowly just so we can line it up and make sure the screw is going in straight and then going to town on it. As you can see, that's now in with a screw on top. Now we need to take the vacuum cylinder, which looks like that. And again, we've got a keyhole pattern just in the side there. So it can only go in one way when we're uh, accessing this section here. It's not a keyhole pattern, it's like a semicircle. It's gonna match the same that we've got on that uh, brake reservoir bit that we've done there. So I'm gonna line this up so it fits flat, just like that. And this is gonna be held in with an EP screw. I'll get one of them ready. But there, definitely, these parts are fiddly. All right, <laughs> let's try again. So that's going to go in that way. Excellent. And I'll put a slow... I'll go slow with that. It'll be best to hold it from the other side just to get it in and then line it up. There we go, that needs to go in like that. Then screw it in all the way, making sure that it is flush really flush against the edge there and there we go that's that section done then we're going to bring the bulkhead over looking just like this and once again this is going to be going on the same side that we just done that and we have got a locating lug there which again is just going to go into that hole there this is where this is going to fit we put that into place make sure it's fitting flat which is perfect turn it over and once again we're going to use an ep screw here and we're going to keep that into place just like this Oh, 
make sure that's nice and tight. And there we go, that's that into place as well. Okay, once we've done that, we can put that to one side because we're gonna be working on the windshield washer now, which is just these two parts here. And quite simply, all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting the top section, the top cap, just onto this section here. And we're gonna be securing it in on the underside there, just with an EP screw. I think the EP screw is definitely the uh, screw of choice for today's build. Using that more than any other screw. And then once again, put that in through the bottom. We can get that cap on. Now the cap does want to rotate. It doesn't, act, it's not fixated in any particular way. So you're going to have to hold it really tight with your hands on this side. So this is what I normally do for that. And that's the cap into place. And then once again, using the locating lug at the bottom there, we're going to put this into just this area on the bulkhead here, just like this. And then it's going to be secured from the other side there once again with an EP screw. So I've got one of them here. And put that into place. Make sure the screw's going in straight, which it is now. And then tighten that completely up. And there we go. Looking just like that. That bulkhead's quite impactful really, isn't it? Now we're gonna start putting wires into this. So that's what we're gonna do now. Now, when I looked at the instructions for this, uh, I couldn't figure out whether we should put the wires in first or the bulkhead first, but I'm gonna bring the car over. And the bulkhead's gonna be actually going in this way here, but obviously we'd need to make sure that we thread the uh, steering column here just through the hole there. So when this is in, it's gonna sit just over these points, just, oh God, it goes in quite far actually. Just getting this in, into the points just there. Now the thing is that I've got to connect some wires to this, which I'm not gonna be able to do at the moment uh, because I can't get to it. So it probably is beneficial to connect the wires first. The first wire we're gonna fit is the air filter control pipe, which is actually just gonna go into this pin on the bulkhead just there. So this is the one that we haven't done anything with. So it's just basically uh, floating around doing nothing. That's this one over here. Just making sure that's the one. That's gonna go into the bulkhead here. I'm gonna use my glasses for this because it's a little bit tricky to put them on. So they're gonna look like that. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing this onto my tweezers like this. Just to make that a whole bigger. We'll leave it there for a little bit. As a matter of fact, I'll put my finger on it and it'll mold into that place. And guess what? That's on. <laughs> so we've got the first one on. Uh, and then the second one we've got to do, uh, we've actually got to put something just in the distributor down the bottom there. Let me change the camera so you can see it. Uh, there, we've got the distributor here, the brake distributor. We've got a pipe to put in from there. The pipe for that comes in this issue, looking just like that. So we're just going to be putting one pipe just down the bottom there. Now while I've got the bulkhead away, probably worth putting that into place just like that. That went in a lot easier. Now we want to keep this away from the steering column. So it's going to go to the left of the steering column and I'm going to put the uh, bulkhead now into place. Hoping that none of those wires I just put in fall out, which they haven't. I'm going to grab that other wire again because that wire that I've got here is eventually going to go into this point just here on the bulkhead of the brake reservoir. But we'll place this into where it goes. So that wire that I've just plugged into the distributor is going to be going just onto this point on the back of the uh, on the back of the brake reservoir here. Put that into place. So to secure the bulkhead in, we've got these points here and here first. So we're going to be put, securing that in with OM screws. Haven't used them yet. This is going into metal, so you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to drop a little bit of oil just into here just to keep that into place like that now these om screws have got a little flange on them little flange just like that and we'll secure these in first that's the first one in nice and tight one this side Excellent, nice and tight again. 
and then we need to secure in two lots of IP screws this side and the other side so I've got them here these are going into plastic so I'm not going to need to uh, I'm not going to need to put oil in them but I am going to need to line them up correctly so here's the first one nice and tight excellent I'm conscious that I've got to uh, put that last pipe in. <laughs> Been having problems with those pipes, I have to say. There we go, that's that side in. I'll just do the other sides. That was fiddly. That means I still had a pipe coming out from down there, which I can't even see anymore. God knows where that pipe goes. And it is worth mentioning that the pipe from the radiator, you guys did tell me last time, you can see that, this doesn't actually uh, go anywhere. This is like one of these Star Trek tubes that say uh, GN, uh, DN. Do you remember that? <laughs> but from what I understand, this relieves the pressure of the, uh, of the radiator tank there. But that's all we have to do. And that ball keg is now in place. So now all we've got to do is put some struts across here. Now the struts are going to be going through these holes at the back and they're going to be attached to the top of each of these uh, wheel arches here or fender liners. So these look like this. I'll show you one. They look just like this. and They've got a thread on one side and we're going to need to thread that through the hole in this bracket right here. So let's get the first one in and just screw that in. Right, my advice is touch a little tiny bit of oil on that and then Get yourself some pliers to hold this in place like that and then screw this part around because this needs to go all the way through there and that is working a treat doesn't have to be screwed on all the way only halfway through that there i want to make sure that they're sort of like equal though we've got a locating lug on the bottom here making sure this is the one that goes in this side. Basically, you've got an arch there. It's the arch that's facing towards the engine. So this is gonna go in sort of like this way here. We need to make sure it's poking through the hole at the back there. Fit it in like that. And we're gonna secure that in place with a HP screw. That's the only one that we haven't used in this one yet. So we get this into place. Nice and tight, that's the first one in. And we'll do the same with the second one. Once again, I'm gonna drop that in a little bit of oil. I'm gonna start it off like that. And I'm gonna hold this in my pliers. You might be saying, Wayne, why aren't you putting any uh, cloth? Well, I'm not actually moving anything on this. I'm just moving the plastic thing around there just to keep that into place. I'm going to do it at roughly the same sort of distance as the last one was and then once again with the locating lug just at the top there we're going to put this in through the hole like that seat it in there and then attach everything with a HP screw and then we secure that into place just like that and that's all we have to do in that stage. I don't know about that random pipe. That random pipe was a bit weird. It doesn't tell us what to do with it. And I'll tell you now, we're not gonna be able to get to it unless we're working to it from the uh, from the underside of the car, which is a little bit difficult. So uh, if you've got any advice for that, please drop that in the comments. And uh, otherwise it's just gonna be a pipe that's hanging and doing nothing. So I'm not sure what to say about that one. Uh, but that's all there is to do with that issue. That's issue 27. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.